Or what's going on? I think I'm supposed to be down the road. Down the road? Yeah. Breaking news at five. Body camera video captures the last moments of a Cape Coral man's life. If I find you laying in the road again, I'm going to march from act you. I'm going to take you to the jail myself and drop you off in the drunk tank, all right? No, I'm just so, going to walk to my direction. All right. Have a good night. The 22-year-old fell into a canal and died a short time after that video was taken. And now those two Cape Coral police officers are out of a job for not helping him. The body of Jeremiah Ballum Jr. was found in a canal near Vincennes Boulevard after his family reported him missing. NBC2's Gage Golding is live at Cape Coral Police Headquarters where the police chief just announced those two officers are now off the force. Yeah, Peter Kelly, the chief said those two officers did not get Jeremiah Ballum Jr. a safe ride home and said they just let him go where he walked away, later fell into a canal and drowned. Let's show you some more of this body camera video that shows this interaction. We're trying to get you Head. home. Where do you live? Right there, like two months ago, like Coronado. You live in Orlando, man. No, I literally live like next street over. No one knew what happened to Jeremiah Ballum Jr. for two days. His body was found two days later in this Cape Coral Canal. Police Chief Anthony Sizemore said today both officers did the opposite of their sworn oath. They didn't get a medical care. They didn't offer him a ride home, and they didn't even try to call his family. And said officers Davis Rios and Joshua Morgan let Ballum Jr. walk away. First look, these violations seem so egregious that I ordered the Professional Standards Bureau to initiate an internal affairs investigation into the matter. And Ballum Jr.'s family did file a missing persons report just hours after that interaction that you just saw with those officers there. Chief Sizemore said this afternoon, and I quote, these officers can no longer represent the Cape Coral Police Department. I'm live outside Cape Police Headquarters, Gage Golding, NBC2.